I'm Jill Campbell, and the painting that I've done for Reconnected is called Shoreline 2. I usually work with uh, mixed media, and my work always starts, or usually starts, with laying down a variety of papers and textures. So this particular painting has quite a lot of tissue paper underneath it and these coloured pieces of paper actually have come from paintings that I've worked on and taken apart. Um, what triggered me off on this was that some of these, particularly these parts down here, were actually from some work that I did um, when we were out at the lake. And so it's sort of putting the lake back into the lake. From there I then go on and I actually put washes of colour in. So it's layering washes of colour over the paper and then I finally, at the end of it, I tend to use a lot of fine work using acrylic inks and a rigger brush to lay it down so that I get some nice loose lines that are, um, that are, that are sort of fairly random but I hope they tell a story. This is a landscape and it's of the shoreline of Lake Macquarie taken from on the water. So you're actually on the water looking back at the shoreline and it's a generic shoreline, it's not a specific place. My family has had a five generation connection with Lake Macquarie going back to my grandfather who owned a house on a cliff top at Coal Point. The name's still there, it's called the Cobbles. Uh, my dad has also lived at Kerry Bay and at Fishing Point they had a place. We've spent a lot of time on the lake uh, going down to our sons and our small grandson they both are very into sailing. Even the nine-year-old grandson is now sailing on the lake. So we've got this strong connection back to the lake over the five generations. The reason that I feel this fits into this exhibition is that the shoreline on the lake is a constant. So no matter if we have fires or pandemics or sort of development or change, the shoreline itself doesn't change as much so that I think that that constancy of the lake gives us almost a, a security and, and hope for things always being very special about Lake Macquarie.